specifically, Reggie said, go ahead and, and move the content. He's in Baltimore today, but, but again, of course, he can see this just as fast as you can. But uh, tell him about the content loading, please, uh, Kyle, how that was done. So the content can be brought in from anywhere that it's, it's already existing or it can be brand new. So we brought in YouTube videos. We took videos from the website that are existing and create brand new videos and upload them into the environment. And then you can also do live and on-demand programming and broadcast that out to the audience. Um, and it's completely new content. And to go off of what Drew was mentioning before and showing the appropriate content to the certain types of people that are in the environment, you can create different user types that are able to see certain types of content only. So if I'm user type A versus user type B, we only see content that's relevant to us. So the System network of Woodlawn and, and Technology Access Television have their own channels, is that correct? They can absolutely have their own channels. The channels can be named anything that you would like. It's a method of organization that everybody understands. That's what he mentioned before about explaining virtual and, and online events, bringing it down to what used to take an hour long to explain into five minutes because everybody gets TV. Everybody understands the live and on-demand. Now let me, let me go into a hard, hard real world situation. We're right now shooting video. We have the video ability, or say Bruce was on one of his channels and we, he wanted to tweet to what was going on here right. with the governor and so forth. Talk about the social media integration of all of the elements. LinkedIn, not just Facebook and Twitter, please. Yeah, so, so, but just for a moment, with LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, or any other social network that pops up, okay, because there's stuff being built and designed today. The IP orbit, Bruce off, says okay. that. No, yeah. But what's really interesting is here's content. This is live right now, this content. Well, a couple of things could happen. One is we actually could play this right now through our site live, and we would see it, or your whole community would see it as we're filming. Kyle has a, uh, a video camera in this laptop. This is live, so if you think about having a studio shoot, like, you know, filming TV, you know, we can be as fancy as NBC and it's wonderful. We could just have a camera as, as you have right here and we could go live or we could do it from a laptop. The reason that that's so critical is because the cost of now live programming that then can go on demand, it's virtually no cost, okay? Before it was very, very expensive to bring a camera crew in here to film us to go live. So we're all, if you will, uh, presenters now in technology like this. What, what's interesting about the point that Tony's making about social community and, and what the content, so whatever communities are out there, we can aggregate and integrate to, but even more important, when we stop the filming here, for us to be able to take that content and put it inside of your community is literally moments, okay? So there's no big production, okay, which is the hard part. So when you think about the end result of any great movie you watch or any great live broadcast you watch, behind the scenes is a big production and a lot of cost. We've eliminated that now to be able to, this is a production right here. This is live, this is real, and now your community in real time as we're sitting here could be viewing this, asking us questions, interacting with us, and we're not talking about five, seven, ten people. We're talking about thousands and thousands of people. In and why is that important? The, the significance to me is that not the, the University of Chicago Lab School, which is where Bruce went, and a lot of kids have gone and had an opportunity, but the charter schools, of the public schools, any school can provide their own broadcast, right, Drew? Absolutely. And, and say, here's what we want to show today. And the significance and relevance of that is the focus of that local community, not the macro community of Chicago, but just in that neighborhood on 75th and South Shore, and you know, and so forth. Another piece to the technology is you can publish and make public to every community member whatever content you choose. You can also have a board meeting in the channel called board meeting. If I'm not a board member, I'll never see that channel because what we don't want to do is to show content or the possibility of content to somebody who doesn't have privilege or access to it, okay? So when you land in this technology, whatever content I can see, whatever channels I can see, that's all that's going to display on my computer like this, okay? So what's interesting here is if you look at some of the, you know, the biggest uh, corporations in the world, they're actually having private, very secure meetings inside of our platform while the rest of the community, whether it's internal or external, are attending other events. 
So I just want to mention on the back end, you'll never see it, you never have to deal with it, but this is a industrial strength enterprise technology on the back end that really allows you to have any meetings, private or public, and they can all be going on simultaneously. Now, one of the things I wanted to segment, Drew, because of the macro aspect you just spoke to, one of the things that Bruce charted me with is the specific focus in the community in a local area, not just here in the University of Chicago, which is very affluent, but Kenwood, surrounding areas of Woodlawn, Garfield, Washington Park, uh, Hyde Park, and other, the, 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 the periphery associated with that. The, the accessibility or the focus is what I think Bruce uh, focused me on to, to really figure out how do we get this technology segmented in a five block radius around Hales Franciscan High School, the collar schools in that area, and then bring that into focus to that particular, because Hales has got Michael Jordan donating money to a million dollars, what have you. But more importantly, the, the uh, elderly uh, in the community uh, assisted living right in that community, a couple blocks away. Let's bring Communiversity into it. Walgreens is on the corner of 51st. So we're, we're dealing in a very small, unique area. Drew, talk about that and well, the ability when, to drill down. Well, you know, first of all, regardless of the global reach or a condensed certain geographical area, the technology has no boundaries or it can have all the boundaries you want, okay? What I find the most interesting aspect today is our technology was built for this first. And the reason for that is it makes it really, really simple to have a great experience on your mobile device. So most people in the community that you're servicing have some access in the family to at least a phone, okay? That phone now can see exactly what we're seeing, whether it's on my device here, on a computer, or you know, obviously not many people are gonna have a movie theater in the house. But um, what's nice is the second level is your iPads and your Surface, right? So you know, an iPad today will probably be something that's gonna be in most families just because it's a great device and it's cost effective compared to a full-blown computer, okay? And in some cases, I think it does a lot more. Uh, and then you've got access to the, to the PC, okay? What's interesting here is that's all you need. You need an appliance. Other than having an appliance, there's nothing that that community is going to need but to Tony, connect to the internet. the missing link, because you're giving a lot, all the information up, but what I see is the missing link is the education to the community. Well, we understand that, and that's where Pierre's come in with the training center on 63rd Cottage. Bruce uh, is over on his device now. Can he can log in into this? Can quick, you get him? Can, can, the learning demo? Yeah, the learning demos, oh, we can do that for, for this uh, gentleman. But can Bruce dial in on his uh, iPhone over there? Or whatever he, device he well, has? He'd have to download the app. But okay. I don't but, know if the app But good. wouldn't the education process have to really be democratic? I mean, I, I'm, because what I'm seeing, uh, if, uh, digital literacy, to me, is where families are, 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 are going. So we're talking about the information is here. So the, uh, the, the, the literacy aspect, because, it, and, and they've... They've they have looked, a virtual learning component. Well, they, they figured it out to putting it with television. Take a look. Right. We'll so take a look. You, so if you, if, you go, if you go to our website, there's really four things we do. Engage, okay? Engage is um, our ability to talk to an audience outside. What, traditionally, this is called lead generation. Inform is just information amongst the community. How do we inform live and on demand? Recruit is the ability to onboard new employees uh, as well as any type of job fairs, okay? And then learn is our entire learning infrastructure of how do you take the same platform, and that's the key here, right? All of this is operated in the same platform. And when you look at the learning side, we have learning tracks for your digital tracks. We can join a discussion. You can connect with a subject matter expert. All of this is an interface that my, works My question is answered. Platform. My question is well, answered. Well, go ahead, Cal. Click. Can we, we have video or audio here? We do. We All can right. watch a quick video. Well, yeah, yeah, this. That this, might is, this, is, this would do. Let's let it talk. Just, just so that you, you know, I, I appreciate this A to Z presentation. Uh, I did a, uh, I, I participated in an, an expo event earlier this week. We had a, a, a webinar, some activity, and some of it, at least the one I participated was on demand. Okay. So it was uh, success stories of uh, 
different individuals talking about their experience with the platform. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe it was a young lady who worked at a software company, Kim and she Bryant. used she Kim used yeah. it for okay. events, and she this talked about this is SQE. Okay. So, so I, I've been through the. Okay. Through the so you've seen it real versus yes. even. Okay. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So, so I, guess, I, guess, I guess the key thing here, guys, is for a social community, one to many. Okay. Um, anything can participate in a conversation. Then we have the whole learning platform, same platform, but a learning discipline. We've got a recruiting discipline and a job fair discipline. We have an information communication discipline, and we have a lead generation discipline, all under the same roof in the community.